Hi, I'm Bee from Be Kind. This video is part of a series of tutorials to accompany our range of fun and planet-friendly sewing and embroidery kits. So you don't have to use these, they're included in all the kits, um, but it's just a way of, if you don't feel confident stitching the design freehand, you can trace over this and transfer it onto the felt easily, and that's just a nice, easy way of doing it. So this is, the right size this is to scale so if I get one of my body pieces of the hippo that I've cut it's the right size it's the exact size so you can literally just trace over it um, so this is just a piece of greaseproof paper um, you could also use straight actual tracing paper or you could use um, tissue paper but this is just nice and easy generally you will have some greaseproof paper at home I expect um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that onto the design and I'm just going to trace over it all the embroidery details and just using a pen. So, trace it all over and this will then, when I've done that, it will be placed on top of my front piece and then I can just embroider it so it makes it nice and easy for you if you don't feel confident by stitching the design freehand. So I'm just getting all the detail that is going to be embroidered. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to also trace over the, the outline of the hippo and this will help me when I place it onto my felt with matching up the edges so that I know the design is in the right place. So, there we go, that's ready to go. So I'm just going to put that to one side for a minute. And I've now got my hippo front piece. So you want it to be your complete piece before you do the embroidery. So all the pieces are secured together. And I'm just going to lay this on top, making sure it's nice and flat. Lining it, using the edges I've traced to line it up like that and then I'm just going to get some of my pins which are supplied in your kit to secure it in place and with the pin I'm going through the trace paper and the felt so it's all secured together make sure it's flat and that's ready to go so all kits will include these instruction sheets and part of that will be your stitch diagram. So that's what you're going to follow when you're doing the um, embroidery stitches and that's just a nice way to, that I thought would be easy to reference for you. So each stitch states the colour you're going to use of thread, what stitch you're going to use and how many strands of thread. So I've got my two strands of thread. I'm following these wrinkles here first, which are two strands of thread in a back stitch. And all, this, all the stitches are also, um, you can find tutorial videos on those as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to follow my embroidery template and stitch through the felt and the template. And I'm just gonna, stitch on top of it as if it was part of the felt. So I'm just going to stitch over all the design. This is what it looked like when you finished the details. So it's all stitched in place, but I've just got the tissue paper on top that I've stitched through. So I'm ready now to take this off. So I've taken the pins out, and then all you want to do is just tear it away. And you don't want to pull too hard because it might pull the stitching off a little bit, but you will get a bit of that anyway. So I'm just going to gently tear it all away. You might, if, if it's, you're finding this a bit tricky, you could get some little scissors to help do this as well. 
So you'll probably get some little fiddly bits like this. You see there's a bit of tissue there. So you might, like I say, you want to use some smaller scissors to get those bits. And just keep going until all the tissue's gone. Like so. So that all the tissue's gone and my design is on the felt. So the only thing you might get is if you've pulled hard, like I have pulled a bit hard here, it's pulled the thread up slightly. So if, if it does that, you can just kind of gently pull in from the inside to flatten it again. So there's a bit there as well. So I'm just going to see pull that in from the other side. And there we go. It's done.